Cool. I walk like 20 feet and uh, I found some voluminous milkies. I'm getting ate up by mosquitoes. But uh, actually, I think these are voluminous. These might be Hygrophorus, Hygrophoropsis, Lactarius, Hygrophoropsis. I don't know if you can see that, but these are definitely edible. Yeah, these are these are uh, voluminous milkies. Milky mushroom that has a large volume of milk. A voluminous milky. See all that milk dripping out of there? They just ooze like crazy. These are pretty good eating mushrooms. Oh, I don't know if you can see that with this camera, but that thing is just dripping. I've never found these in this woods before. And usually with these milky mushrooms, I usually only find like five or six in a small area just like this. And I'll search the rest of the woods and not find any. There's a couple decent chanterelles back there I'm going to pick too. But I'm going to sit this one down. There's another little one. Yeah, these are voluminous milkies because they have uh, gills that are really close together. But when it comes to mushrooms, don't rely on a video or a picture for identification. You need to use uh, several reliable, professional sources for your identification. I'm pretty much just taking this video as a reminder to myself. and. Just to kind of give you an idea of the habitat they grow on, because a lot of people leave that out. Here's one, but I don't know, that's a, maybe a little old. I might take this one. Me, I think I'll leave that one. Here's a couple of chanterelles. I think this one might be good. Yeah, maybe not. <clears throat> it's getting towards the end for the shanties. Yeah, see, I cut the stem off. And I'm pretty sure you can't see it in this video, but you'll see little wormholes. And if they got wormholes, they ain't worth picking. Here's another little milky mushroom. <sighs> These milkies smell like fish. And a lot of people are turned off by that. But I had uh, read in uh, David Aurora's book, Mushrooms Demystified. Uh, he suggested using uh, just a little bit of lemon juice when you saute them. And it gets rid of that mushroomy smell. Now right here, is another mushroom which kind of looks like the ones I was just picking but it's not so you have to be careful and this is likely a toxic mushroom they're sticky the, the voluminous milkies are sticky too that's another good sign and that white milk it'll turn brown stain your fingers brown eventually too but I'm gonna cut this video off and look around, see if I can't find any more. There's another old chanterelle. I don't know if you can even see that. But I get to looking. This is a good tree though. This is a tulip poplar. It's actually not a poplar at all. It's in the magnolia family. It gets little flowers like a tulip on it though in the spring. But it's a it's an interesting tree and you generally find uh, 
mushrooms growing around it and stuff. It's a good sign. They also call it yellow poplar, I believe. If you go to the lumber yard and you ask for yellow poplar, this is what you get.